It was just a few months ago when city contractors came here and tore down the house that was on the lot. And this is what has happened to the land since then, a tire dumping ground. But you didn't have to look far to figure out who did all of this. Tire after tire after tire piled high on a vacant lot. Just getting outrageous with all these all these tires. You know, it's, it's just rat infested. Stanley Allen lives a few doors down from the mess. I mean, the, the lot shouldn't be full of tires because if there's a fire, they'll burn, they'll burn forever. And Jerry Atkins lives across the street. It's not safe. No, it's not safe, is it? Not safe and not nice to look at. But who is responsible? Where are the tires coming from? They're coming from my, the guy on the tire shop right there. I told him he can't keep these tires here and he keeps on putting them over here. Is that your property? No, that's not. So why are you guys putting all your tires there? Uh, okay, uh, that's uh, my boss's property behind there. And we're just putting them there until, until we get to someone to take them away. And well, I did some checking, and no, this is not the boss's property. So coming up on Action News at 6, I track down the boss and wait until you hear what his hustle is. And also, all those potholes must be really good for business because I can tell you what, his neighborhood looks nothing like this one. But for now, we're live on the city's west side. Back to you. He has a hustle. We're on pins and needles. Thank you, Ronnie.